As we expected, 8K TVs were all the rage at CES 2019, with major players Sony, Samsung, and LG making big splashes with their new toys. Even the not so well-known brands Hisense, Skyworth, TCL, and Sharp decided to dip their toes into the 4320p arena. What the f man, 4320p, this is getting ridiculous. I was just getting used to 4K 2160p. What makes 8K so special? These displays are 16 times the resolution of 1080p HD, four times the resolution of 4K, and all have over 33 million pixels. Let's start with Sony. For five decades, Sony has been pushing the limits of TV picture quality and their expertise in creating content with filmmakers to bring artistic visions to screens has led to the Master Series TVs. And I trust a company that makes some pretty amazing looking movies. The Master Series consists of two models, the ridiculous 8K LED Z9G with an 85 inch and a 98 inch. These two 8K LED TVs have full array local dimming backlights and have four front firing speakers with top and bottom mounted drivers with full support of Dolby Atmos. Sony's latest picture processor, the X1 Ultimate, fuels the magic of their Master Series TVs and brings professional level monitors into your home. Signals are processed at ultra high bit rates, then restored to their original quality to ensure not one single bit was lost. And Sony has been working together with IMAX to create IMAX Enhanced and with Netflix to develop Netflix Calibrated Mode. Netflix Calibrated Mode ensures picture quality preservation on those Netflix and chill nights. This mode reproduces the same picture quality as a studio evaluation master with precise colors, accurate dynamic contrast, and true motion to rid your visuals of that dreaded soap opera effect. The master series is precisely calibrated at the factory for white balance and uniformity to meet the needs of professional creators and ensure consistently high performance. With the emergence of AI at CES, the entire Master Series supports Google Assistant and Alexa. I was blown away by the Master Series and the Sony Bravias may have stolen the crown from LG. LG introduced their own AK OLED TV with the Z9 88 inch and 75 inch LCD NanoCell model. Despite having full array dimming in LG's new Alpha 9 Gen 2 processor, the 75 inch didn't deliver the same wow factor that the 88 inch OLED had, but it was still remarkable. LG is still caught up in these fancy tech nicknames, but NanoCell is actually just a rebranding of their old quantum technology. I'm on to you LG. I'm sure the OLED model will be more expensive than most cars considering the starting price on AK LCD sets are over 15 grand. I guess I'll either be putting tires on my couch or starting a swear jar to save up. Let's start now. However, the 75 inch LCD model could be one of the cheapest AK options once available. Considering you could buy Samsung's 85 inch Q900 for $15,000 with payment plans available for only $1,250 a month for a year. What a deal. Speaking of, Samsung took a leap forward this year with their 8K QLED TVs with the introduction of their Q900 98 inch monster. When you stare at it for too long, you almost question what's real and what isn't. There's a sense of motion and the details were absolutely incredible and seemed to stand up to Sony's master Bravias, but without the two of them side by side, it's a difficult task to rate one over the other. Samsung added a bunch of new AI tech to their QLEDs. The new QLED panels improve picture quality at angles and blow 4K displays out of the water with the new AI Quantum Processor 8K. Samsung's new AI streaming technology upscales non-8K content into stunning 8K for improved details and sharpened definition. AI sound matches each scene with optimal sound quality. With ambient mode, QLED 8K can mimic the wall pattern behind it to help blend in with any room, plus overlay decorative art, personal photos, or helpful information. Smart AI lets you easily start shows and movies with your remote through voice commands with Bixby. Samsung put on a show with their QLEDs. The Sony's Master Series are a sight to be seen like the Mona Lisa. Samsung's QLEDs are focused with Bixby in mind, and LG's OLEDs offer the most exciting picture of any of the AK TVs. The Nano AKs are for the price conscious AK consumer, if that's even a thing. As awesome as 8K is, the transition to them as the standard seems questionable, at least here in the US. 
with the absence of broadcasting unlike Japan, who currently has 4 and 8K now. Only a handful of cameras even shoot in 8K. And let us not forget the biggest issue, pricing. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links in the bio. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.